844. Bill Colley with you on Top Story on News Radio 1310 KLIX. We have a caller joining us. You're up next, and you're on Top Story with Bill Colley. Go ahead. Good morning. I'm calling because every time we talk about refugees, they always talk about um, the, only the Syrians being a problem. Bringing his sworn enemy into your quiet community. I think it's kind of the elephant in the room. We don't know who the enemy is. That's a huge concern for a lot of family people out there. This is a, you know, pretty God-fearing community here. They're replacing American workers all over the country, right here locally, with cheaper labor that they can get. I mean, folks, we better wake up. These are the kind of people that are coming here. We really aren't supporting this down here. And even those that are coming into Twin Falls, they're not bringing families, by and large. They're bringing young military age people. So what's the goal here is to create jihad or just overpopulate us. So yesterday I called ZZ over at the refugee center. ZZ. I left a message. It wasn't offensive or anything. I just want him to explain to me more about what they intend to do. Think about this. Eight months ago, this issue wasn't even at the top of the mind of the people of, of southern Idaho, but it is now. My name is Zizi Rasama. I am the director for the College of Southern Idaho Refugee Programs. The first time I came to Twin Falls was for my, my job interview. The second time, it was moving to, to Twin Falls for the job. There's, there's nice people. Uh, the cost of living is, 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 is cheap. Um, there's jobs, um, any kind of jobs. Uh, it's a very small town, but we have so many uh, employers, big ones that are um, uh, here in our, in our city. I was born in a town called Bukavu, which is in the eastern part of uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo. So the genocide that happened to Rwanda in the Congo was actually a continuation of, of that genocide. In, in Rwanda, they were killing the Tutsis, the Rwandan Tutsis, and then uh, the killers were stopped and they were pushed into the Congo. And they found the Congolese Tutsis in, in the Congo. Then they continued killing them. And that's how I became a, a, a refugee. Is, uh, is, is your case, is he? I think he has some um, issues at work, so. I knew that it's not gonna be easy to resettle refugees in this small town. So I was ready for any challenges. If a person is employable, we start enrolling them in ESL classes. Usually after the first week, that's when they start attending. What is your phone number? What's your phone number? My phone number is... is Area code eight high five. Okay. Hello, sir. How are you, sir? What's your name, sir? <coughs> no, 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 no. When I walk over to you, I will greet you. How are you, sir? Yes. What is your name? Then you start, my name is, it's a possessive way. You say, my name is uh, Munyakazi. When, when we, I meet you again, I will greet you. You will come back, right? How are you, sir? Thank you. What is your name? Saida is here. My name. And this one. J. K. K. Good, good. L, 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 uh-huh. Knowing where these people are coming from, 
Staff members will repeat things over and over again to make sure that they understand those important skills uh, will help them keep the job. The maximum we can actually help uh, refugees with, uh, with rent and utilities, it's eight months. All employable refugees get jobs within two, three months after arrival, and they are at that time able to pay their rent. Okay, Muda Kemwa next. You're next. Twin Falls is growing in by leaps and bounds. We've had several factories open. At, that employ them. Chobani opened up and several other, uh, we've got Cliff Bar is coming and, and they tend to employ the, the refugees even with not a lot of English. So they've been really good to the refugees. When there was buzz about Syrian refugees, a lot of people got up in arms about thinking that we were gonna bring Syrian refugees here and that terrorists could sneak in. We've been fighting a lot of um, not bad publicity, but people that don't want the refugee center here. And they've been here for, for such a long time, um, since Vietnam even. I've never seen anybody in the refugee system that's scary enough to not let them come and live here. Okay, Muda Kamwa. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll see you tomorrow. 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 Ubu <laughs> Yuko <laughs> in Twin Falls are changing due to industries here that rely on immigrant workers and due to the refugee center. The community was unprepared for the attention that was thrust upon us in the last nine months, which I believe and many others believe resulted in our community being reflected in a negative light. Building a community among diverse populations can have growing pains. So we need to work together to develop ways to promote inclusion and ease conflict. In January, we gathered a group of local business leaders, religious leaders, and community leaders to discuss different models for community development, focusing on our immigrant and refugee populations. I would like to give the opportunity to those in the public who have come to want to comment on this particular request this evening. I would ask that um, uh, we keep our comments respectful 
I know this is a very passionate and emotional issue that has churned throughout our community for many, many months. Our nation is great because we have allowed, since its existence, immigration. It's a wonderful thing, but it's got to be an integration. It's really difficult to communicate with my neighbors because they won't speak English, whether they can or cannot, they, they don't. Where these refugees are coming from, they are not cultures that will integrate into the American society. We shouldn't be the Section 8 capital of Southern Idaho. Illegal ones, ones that don't st come up to our standards of life, living. A lot of these refugees are not really refugees. They are economic migrants. I want to feel safe as a citizen here. I want my children to feel safe. They immigrate, they populate, and they segregate. That's the way they operate. We're seeing this on a microscopic level. The problems you have in big cities are starting to really show up here. And we're just starting to scratch the surface. The refugees should no longer come to Twin Falls. I'm a firm believer, but it's time to put an end to CSI's refugee program. And I hope with all my heart that this can be accomplished now. Thank you. The few people that are opposing are just few. But in this time of the world where technology is its highest, so one person can multiply one voice a hundred times. Jesus, my head, when do I assume? No, if it won't, I see people that they have hope, but they don't know what will happen to them in the future. I, I see people that are confused during the first week of arrival. I see people that are anxious to change their lives. I see people that are very appreciative to the fact that they were given the opportunity. I see people that they won't participate in making this country a better country.